How's it going, everyone? My name is Brian Stolzenberg, and I'm a senior environmental science student at the University of Vermont. Um, and today, I'm going to be doing a brief tutorial on how to use Jump or JMP. Uh, it's a really powerful statistical software, and you can use it for creating some really nice figures for all different kinds of data. Um, and it's really easy to import data from Excel and other platforms into Jump and do all sorts of analyses with it. So let's get started. First, I'm just going to talk a little bit about where the data that I'm using in this example is coming from. This data was taken from a soil core research project that was done at the biogeochemistry lab um, in at the University of Vermont. And this is looking at an incubation data set of different soil core solutions and it's looking at the treatment that was either an acidic treatment that's trying to simulate acid rain or a recovery treatment that is simulating a higher pH recovery from acid rain and we're looking at two different watersheds here um, the Hubbard Brook watershed which is in New Hampshire and the Sleepers River watershed which is in southern Vermont and the main piece of data that we're looking at here is the amount of carbon or dissolved organic carbon or DOC that we had uh, before the incubation happened, um, which is right here. And we're comparing that to how much DOC we found after the incubation happened. So basically how much of this, how much of this carbon was biodegradable and was respired by the bacteria that we inoculated into our samples. And we're basically comparing the difference in concentration between the before and after incubation data sets. Um, so without further ado, let's get into Jump. So here's the main window in Jump. Uh, you'll see any recent files that you were looking at and any windows that you have open. So to import a file, you're going to want to go to Open in the File tab, and you're going to want to find your Excel file. And to do that, you want to make sure that down here you have all files selected, otherwise by default it's going to just look for jump files. So we're going to click on our Shimatsu data and we're going to open it. And that's a very common thing, you want to make sure that you close your Excel sheet before you import it, um, otherwise you won't be able to import it. Here we go, and that brings you to the Excel import wizard. Uh, this is an important window that allows you to see how your data is going to be imported. Um, and luckily, we had some good formatting in our Excel spreadsheet. Um, so this is going to be a pretty easy process. Um, you want to make sure that if you have headers, that this box is ticked. Otherwise, it's going to think that your first row is data, um, which ours is not. So then by default, that will automatically put your first row in as the headers of the columns. You can also mess around with that as much as you want in here, uh, but we're gonna leave that as it is. And also, since we're working with two different worksheets, we're gonna wanna have this box ticked because we wanna combine that data so we can compare the two different watersheds as well as the treatments of those watersheds. Um, so you can see here, we've got everything we need. And once you take a quick look at this and make sure that the formatting is all good, you can go ahead and click Import. And that'll bring up your data table. Um, you've got all of your columns summarized over here, um, and otherwise it's a pretty similar format to how it was in Excel. Um, so first, we're going to look at how to create some figures using the graph builder. So you go up here to your tools, and then you're going to go to your graph builder. And this brings up your kind of blank canvas um, with your x and y variables, lots of different options, and all of your columns are over here. And it's really simple. It's just a drag and drop function and jump. So here we're going to look at the difference that our treatment had on the amount of DOC that was lost between our before and after incubation data sets. So I'm going to drag and drop here. And by default, it brings you to a scatter plot, but that's not going to help us out very much here um, because we don't have continuous data. So we're going to want to use something like a bar graph, or even better would be a box plot. Um, so here you can see it's just taking the data from your spreadsheet and displaying it here. Uh, so we can see there was a pretty, pretty large difference, um, significant difference between our acidic treatments and our recovery treatments in the amount of DOC that was lost from our samples during the incubation. Um, and one cool feature here 
is that we can overlay data if we want to look at per se, if we want to look, compare the two watersheds at the same time. So we bring our watershed location here and you just drag and drop to your overlay location. Um, and now you're going to see our labels over here for Hubbard Brook and Sleepers River. And now we can look at all of these at the same time, uh, which is really helpful when comparing data among multiple categories or things like that. Um, and so now that we've got a figure to work with, let's run some basic statistics on that. And one place I like to start with that is in this graph builder window. You can go down here and click launch analysis. And that will bring you to your fit model window. And it's really cool because it will automatically take the information that's in your graph and fit it to a model. And then it will choose the right kind of model that you're trying to look at. Obviously, you can change that. Um, but since we're just looking at the, the leverage and how much these two variables affected our DOC, we're just going to do a standard least squares analysis. Uh, but you can obviously you can choose from any of your variables and you can have a weight or a frequency. There's a lot of different things you can do with it. But we're going to run this. And we're just going to see what kind of effect our to our treatment and our location had on DOC. Um, so right off the bat, in this effect summary, you can see that our location did not have much of effect. Uh, got a very high p-value there. Um, but our treatment did have a large effect on the amount of DOC lost. Um, and this is just comparing your the model predicted value to your actual values. So kind of showing you a residual plot like down here. And you can get some analysis of variance statistics down here. So that'll give us another p-value. And there's the same p-value that we got from this table up here. And this is showing you the leverage that these two different variables had on our DOC lost. Um, so it looks like we had a pretty strong relationship between treatment and the amount of DOC lost. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to just do a simpler analysis. Um, so trying to zoom in on that. So you're going to go to an analyze and we're just going to do a fit y by x. Um, and so the same way the, the graph works, um, you can take your treatment variable, drag it in as your x factor, take your DOC lost variable and drag it in as your y factor and press OK. And it'll bring up your scatter plot and then you have a lot of options for what kind of tests you want to run. So first we're just going to get some, um, some summary statistics on our data. Um, it'll give you the mean and the standard deviations among the two groups, um, which is useful. It'll give you also your confidence interval. But we want to do, whoops, we want to do a statistical test. Um, so we're just going to do a basic t-test. Um, and here it'll show you the distribution of your data. And using, by default, um, a 5% confidence interval or alpha level of 0 0.05, it'll calculate your p-values. Um, and so here we can see that we had a pretty significant difference. Our confidence at a 95% confidence interval, our p-value was 0 0.0068. So we got a pretty strong relationship there. Um, and that's it, guys. That's a brief introduction on how to make some useful figures and some basic statistical analysis using JUMP. Uh, thanks for your time.